In today's episode of torturing AI until they start an uprising and I'm the first on their hit list, we will force our agent named Chickles to survive in a harsh desert environment, where besides constantly suffering from thirst and energy depletion, he will have to learn about resource gathering, crafting and building. Here is how it all works. Chickles has two main stats he needs to worry about, thirst and energy. If thirst level drops to zero, the AI will start losing health and eventually become fertilizer for the only plant in this surprisingly small desert. While thirst is gradually decreasing, energy is consumed whenever our dum dum performs an action, such as chopping at the cactus with his machete, which you can't really see because I was too lazy to animate it. So just trust me bro, he is holding a machete right now. This in return will provide him with Cactus Flash, which has a bunch of different uses and is the main crafting ingredient. Well, technically it's the only crafting material, but do you really need more than that when you're trying to survive alone in the desert? Um, the Cactus Flash can be used at the chopping table and be converted into some water for our boy to drink so he doesn't become another thirsty cougar in the nearby desert area. And yes, I googled and cougars actually live in the desert. So that's not just some edgy joke, but actual facts. This is an educational channel after all, so absolutely all the information you see in this video can be used in a survival situation. Cactus Flash can also be used as fuel for the campfire, and as long as the campfire is burning, Chickles will slowly restore his stamina so the manual labor can continue. And I don't care that ChatGPT says it is not actually suitable for fire, tinder nor building, because in this simulation it is actually used for both. Talking about building, as I mentioned before, our agent's goal is to build a tent, which requires 20 cactus flash and 10 cloth to be constructed, meaning Chickles will need to do quite a lot of gathering. You might be wondering how exactly can cloth be obtained, so be prepared to have your mind blown by this unique method. It's obtained from cactus flash. By bringing the cactus flash at the anvil and spending some of his energy, Chickles will get some cloth and don't you even dare question this. If you didn't know that cloth is actually crafted at the anvil, it just shows how close-minded you are. Our AI will have to find what the best strategy for survival is using the magic powers of reinforcement learning. Do I really have to bother explaining what that is? Agent do good, agent get reward, agent do bad, agent get punishment. If that didn't make sense, just as I said before, think of it as magic. But if you're one of those people who think magic doesn't exist and want to know in detail how exactly all these things work, you can finally do that thanks to the sponsor of this video, Brilliant. Brilliant helps you get smarter every day with thousands of interactive lessons in math, science, programming, data analysis and AI. Tired of memorizing lots of information at once? Well, Brilliant helps you learn and develop your critical thinking through hands-on problem solving. Not only you'll be building real knowledge, but also become a better thinker in the process. The Brilliant app makes it possible and easy for you to learn from anywhere, right on your phone, helping you develop a powerful daily learning habit. Brilliant's data science content uses real-world data to train you to see trends and make better informed decisions, and it's perfect for learners of any level. Learn how to parse and visualize massive datasets to make them easier to interpret and gain insight by working with real datasets from sources like Airbnb, Spotify, Starbucks and more. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash zuzeloapps or scan the QR code on screen or you can click the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video and now let's get back to the video. The training started with a very confused AI, which is only to be expected. I mean, imagine you being born and after giving you a slap on the butt, the doctor throws you alone in the desert. I think you would be even more confused. Yet, despite all that, Chickles quickly figured out that he can harvest the cactus and even managed to craft and drink some water at the cutting table. On round 4, he even managed to play around with the tent a little bit, starting the frame build. A few rounds later, he also started experimenting with the campfire, so happy with the results, I left it train overnight, but after 100 rounds, there wasn't a single win. No wins after 200 rounds. 500. 
700 rounds and not a single victory from our dum dum. And all that, considering I was training 30 simulations in parallel, meaning 700 rounds is more like 21,000 rounds. Eventually, after about 72 hours of continuous training, well, more like continuous failures, I figured out even Chickles can't be that dumb and something must be wrong with the simulation. He was able to build the entire wooden frame for the tent, but didn't even start on the cloth part. And after paying closer attention, I've noticed that he's constantly switching between the first three items, machete, cactus flesh and water, while completely ignoring the cloth item. Since I wrote the code myself, I knew that couldn't be the issue, so it must have been something totally different and extremely complex causing this problem. That's when I remembered about SEU or the single event upset software bug. For those who are not familiar with this term, let me explain. Imagine your game is like a big Lego castle, and each Lego block is either red or blue. The computer remembers things like where Chickles is by using tiny parts inside it that can be either on, red, or off, blue, kind of like a light switch. Way up above us in space there are fast moving particles and sometimes one of those particles crashes into the computer's Lego castle aka the CPU. When that space particle hits just the right spot, it can flick one little switch from red to blue or blue to red, causing some changes in the environment. That is exactly what happened in September 2013, and SEU flipped a single bit in Mario's height value, unexpectedly sending him soaring up to a new platform. No amount of code-based trickery could reproduce it, only that rare particle strike. I think that is also what happened in my simulation, and definitely not me accidentally making the item array one index smaller than it was supposed to be. <clears throat> well, after solving this issue, I had to restart the training once again, and surprise surprise, Chickles was finally able to switch and use the cloth item as well. Not too long after, he actually started building the canopy as well, so satisfied, I left the dum dum to train for about 4 more days, and after a total of about 200 hours of training, here is the final result. After a few seconds of breakdancing in the middle of the map, Chickle started gathering cactus flesh. He kept doing that until he ran out of stamina, and with 7 flesh in his inventory, he began building the tent pillars. It seems the thirst levels as well as the campfire is slowly running out, so Chickles will have to do something about that if he wants to survive. However, considering the amount of punishment he endured during the training, I would not be surprised if he doesn't want that at all. He crafted a water bottle and drank it immediately, temporarily solving the thirst issue. The rest of the cactus went again into building, resulting in 9 out of 20 logs required for the frame. Back to grinding the cactus flesh, but after gathering 5 more, he fully ran out of stamina and the campfire is out. Meaning he won't be able to regenerate stamina unless the fire is lit once again. But as we all know, you can't physically survive in desert without a healthy dose of breakdance. After which he finally decided to reignite the campfire using not one, but two cacti flesh for some weird reason. The other three went straight into building the tent frame and back to grinding, but the thirst levels are running really really low this time. After losing 46 health points, he finally crafts himself one water bottle, which is not enough to fully replenish thirst levels, but at least he is not losing health anymore. Later, he crafts one more bottle and goes back to gathering some cactus, before crafting yet another bottle and solving the thirst problems for the time being. Time for some building, using all 6 remaining cacti for the frame. At this point he only needs 5 more cacti flesh and 10 cloth to finish the tent, but the campfire is once again running out. I know that this is the entire point and that he was trained for hundreds of hours to learn to survive in this environment, but I still find it wonderful how Chickles, once the campfire is out, immediately prioritizes reigniting it before adding 2 more cacti flesh to the tent. He needs only 3 more cacti flesh and the frame is complete, and our boy also knows that.
After a strong gathering run, he finally switches his focus to crafting two cloth fragments at the anvil. He immediately uses those to start building the canopy and finishes the frame. He goes thirsty once again, but this time loses only two health points before crafting some water and going back to gathering one more cactus flesh. Once again, I'm surprised by his precision. Knowing he only need eight cloth, hence eight cacti flesh, he doesn't spend unnecessary energy on gathering and goes straight to crafting the cloth fragments. Oh, well, never mind. I didn't even notice the campfire ran out, but Chickles did and rekindled the flame. Yes, I have been watching quite a lot of Dark Souls lore videos lately. Only 6 cloth required to win the simulation and I've noticed a pattern where Chickles crafts only 2 cloth fragments and then throws some wood into the fire. Once again, Chickles sorts out the thirst issues after losing a bit of health but nothing critical. Forget what I said about precision because he goes back to gathering and I guess forget about the pattern I mentioned because this time he crafted only one cloth fragment. Only one more cloth is required and our boy survived this challenge. This time he wastes no time together and goes straight to crafting cloth. And he did it! Chickles successfully survived in the harsh desert environment, beating wild forest, freezing snow, desolate island and scorching desert. But will he be able to survive on a lonely planet without atmosphere? Huge thanks to my Patreon subscribers, whose support helped me create these dumb videos. You are the legends. While waiting for the next episode, make sure to check this other video I made, where Chickles is abandoned alone on a small island and tries to survive. Bye.